Why didn't you speak up and tell them that you're the son of the first Ephraim Sparta? By talking, maybe you could have avoided being punished. Why not say killed, Nikos? I broke the law, helping five Spartan gladiators to escape. Your turn, Spartan. You're still in time. Speak up and tell them your father is the first Esper. It's much better that my father think I died fighting against Rome. Than to know that I'm still alive, but a Roman slave. Without the sword. seen a gladiator was set for resistance. They will order that he be given a death without undue suffering. The Lancers of the Legionnaires! to this request. decided your life is to be spared. You may therefore consider yourself a free man. 
But you must return to your country now. Nothing better to do. Didn't you hear that Darius is returning? You're aging, Milan. You lose your courage and control for no reason at all. You're buying and trading slaves. You feared nothing. No. No, Yaba. To begin with, I'm no longer a slave dealer. <laughs> the old jackal is defending his newfound respectability. I, too, no longer sell slaves. And what's more, I am now the first ephor, the most powerful man in Sparta. And for this reason, I want it clear that no one will be allowed to menace my position. You mean to say that, that Darius can weaken your authority? Of course he can. His father was greatly loved by the populace. And if Darius finds out who's responsible for his father's you, death... You killed him. I... I only helped to stage a mock suicide. We helped each other. And we'll continue to do so. No. I refuse. Be careful. It's the second time you oppose my will. First, by refusing me your daughter's hand. It's the Glia. She's undecided. She wants Darius, I know. We've gone through this. But do you really think that... Darius would marry the daughter of a man who is linked with his father's death? Darius? We'll never know. And I doubt that it'll be you to enlighten him. I can tell Aglaia, however, if you don't obey me. Go now. Warn Macrobius and choose three trustworthy men.
Miss Mayne. Darling. Miss Mayne. What has happened to this house? Where's my father? They killed him. He was murdered. The names. I want the murderer's names. Who were they? It was the new Afri Yaba. That's only one name. You said they killed him. Milan. Aglaya's father. After he was found hanged in the woods, they spread the rumor that he'd been plotting against Sparta in favor of tyranny, and that he'd committed suicide to avoid being disgraced by his countrymen. How could he have been a traitor or committed suicide? A man like your father, the most honest and just citizen in all of Sparta. But you cannot remain here any longer. The house is being constantly watched. Well, you needn't worry about me. You have a mission to accomplish now. I'll avenge my father. Be careful, Ismene. But wait. Darius. I've saved something for your return. to reestablish his good name. Goodbye, Ismene. anything if I could be certain of your happiness. I could not possibly ask for anything more. But you know my happiness will be complete only when Darius returns. Of course, but many years have passed, you know. He might be considerably changed. You were still a child when he left. Have you considered the fact that Darius might not return? If Darius does not return home, my life will not be worth living. Oh, Goliath. You mustn't talk like that. I'm sorry, Father. But Darius... I know you love him. And I think that he'll return. I hope so. I really hope so.
Well, then, did they kill him? No, he was not alone. But he won't escape me the next... There will no longer be a next time, Yadva. I've decided to face the truth. There's no time. First, you'll have to face this sword. But... But you're... Out of your mind. Me? I'm perfectly sane. This is Darius' sword. And it's with his sword that you will die! for his death. Your father committed suicide. No. My father was murdered. And I know who's responsible. Oh, Darius, you don't know what you're saying. It was my own father who found his body. He told me it was suicide. It Your father was lying to you. I... Aglaya, I know that what I have to tell you may even affect our future. Are but you I... here, Darius? What are you doing here? Is this yours? What do you want? Recognize this blade? It's my father's sword. And isn't it with this same sword that you killed me, Lung? I killed three of them, but Milan was not there. I didn't recognize Aglaya's father. The one who escaped was wounded on the wrist. You'll be tried by your judges. You've been wounded on the wrist. You're the fourth one. Arrest them. By whose orders are you arresting me? By order of Yava. Yava. My father's murderer. First he killed my father, and now he wants to do away with me. He's trying to accuse me of a crime I did not commit. We have proof that it was you who killed Milan. It's not true. Believe me, Aglaya. I didn't kill your father. Believe me. No. How can I, Darius? How can I when I saw the hate in your eyes when you came here tonight? I heard you speak of vengeance. The only thing I believe is that your hatred of my father made you kill him with your own father's sword. Go away. Go away. Take him away. <laughs> If it means losing my own life in the attempt. Darius? Yarb is powerful. The two of us alone can do very little. I have five friends, though. Five gladiators who today owe me much more than their lives. Their liberty. And I'm sure they won't have forgotten this. Let's go.
You scrounging tavern keeper, get out! <laughs> In my tavern, that miserable swine is ruining me. The swine must be blackest. Come. Curse be the day that he entered my shop. This must stop. I can no longer put up with him. Ah, oh, keep quiet. Please help me do something. We must call the guard for this man. But why do you want to call the guard? I took him on to help me unload the casks. But when the work was finished, he threw me out of my own tavern. And now he says he intends staying in there until every drop is drunk. Have no fear. I'll drag him out for no, you. No, no. Don't dare go in there alone. He's terribly dangerous when drunk. He's crazy, and I know him well, sir. Oh, I also know him, and certainly long before you did. Watch this, Livius. Hey, are you going to come out, or must I come in after you? exciting of all spectacles. Hear me now. Of a small amount of a miserable fiasco, any of you can subdue the greatest and most famous gladiator in the world. If you succeed in dragging me against these blades, I'm here to match my strength alone against any two of you. Two against one in a fight to the finish. But can you really be killed, Father? It's just what the public wants. Are you all weaklings out there? Pardon. It takes but one small coin to kill a gladiator, and should I meet death, all my savings will go to the winner. Take your money and let go!
There are four men who ask to see you, Master. They say they're your friends. I have no friends. Say that I'm not here. <laughs> this can't possibly be Zeno. <laughs> what do they think they're laughing at? These grimy animals. <laughs> oh, hail to thee, vision of love. Your beauty exceeds that of all the other goddesses. May I gaze upon thee and admire the splendor of your blinding light. Zeno, did you hear? Will you stop bothering my wife? Ha! <laughs> You've got a wife? Of course. Congratulations. Shut up. Zeno, I came here because we need help for a certain plan. Well, well, you see, Darius, I'm, I'm a peaceful man now. Yes, of course. We're wasting our time, soft as he is. He'll only be a wait. Think you're right. He's not the same. Let's go. Wait up for me! Where are you going, Zeno? <laughs> now that's better. Let's go. Let's go. And there, we're sure to find Phanergus. by liberty by just running away. Go now, get inside. Hey, you. Come here. Did you hear me? I'm talking to you. We've come to claim the upper share of grain. We've no time to lose. There isn't any. You're obliged to have it. You must contribute grain like all the other subjects. <coughs> What's your name? What's your name? Over the priest. Ah, Darius! Ah, you have been brought to the mercenaries. Didn't come on your. Let's go after them. No. Let them go ahead. And in farmyard. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Flaccus? Flaccus! Flaccus! What did I tell you? 
Panurgus! <laughs> what hospitality! What excellent wine! <laughs> Wait a minute, Flacken. Calm down. Panurgus, the five of us need your help to wipe out a common enemy. Will you join us? Forever. And ever. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and ever. <laughs> Perfect timing to get Marcus out of the arena. It's much easier for us to escape from the Circus Maximus. Once you get caught in Yarba's arena, I can tell you, you seldom get out alive. In Rome, you forget we had Darius. And where do you think he is now? In Athens? You know, I always think, if only that numbskull of a thief Marcus would look for a regular job instead of practicing his lonely art. Why? Are you the type that loves work? <laughs> well, all right, but I don't steal and I'm still free. While that poor wretch was caught red-handed and is in Yarba's arena playing the gladiator again. <laughs> <laughs> Time the peasants are revolted. They know Darius has returned. Do you think that Darius had anything to do with the revolt of the peasants in Hedra? I'm sure. I'd swear to it. And what do you think, Aglaia? About what? Perhaps our conversation is boring you. It's the spectacle that annoys me. Aglaia's right, Macrobius. I persuaded her to come here because you promised her something different. And I've kept my word. You're about to witness an unusual spectacle that I've created for the punishment of an ex-gladiator who has stolen from all of Greece and had the gall to rob even me. They call him Vargas. I find it amusing to see a man killed.
can finish Yarba off with my knife. Hold on. But why? You know I can't miss him. Not now. Wait. It's not the moment. Despise Daria, and to prove it to you, Yarba, I will be your bride. My wedding gift will be the head of your father's murderer. Yeah. 
serious. You're wounded. It's not serious. Just a scratch. Just a little. now, and I suggest you all eat it. Ah! <laughs> you bungling fool. He's escaped. You let him get away again. Now, I'm warning you, Macrobius, I made you, but I can always send you back to Roth and the quarries where I found you. He can't escape again. I've recruited new mercenaries and put all of Sparta under guard. That was a mistake. There's no need to make the people feel we're afraid of him. What can I do? I don't know, and I don't want to know. As long as Darius is alive, he will be a threat to me and to all of us. In the taverns, they already talk of him as a hero, and they speak of nothing but his daring escapades. We must stop Darius from becoming a legend. Find him. Find his hiding place, and then I'll show you how to get rid of him. time with beauty treatments. We're all men here, with the exception of Leecha. If it's for Leecha, you can grow your beard from here to Sparta. Her pulse flutters only for Darius. Yes, I know. I'm not blind. But tell me, why do you keep practicing with your knives from morning to night if there's no one to cut into little pieces? Well, naturally, to keep in form. That goes for me, too. Should I let myself go when I return home? My wife would refuse me. She's quite fussy, very demanding. Besides, I'm not cut out for work. <laughs> and now, let me shave and be off with you. It's yours. Thank you. You know, it's a good likeness. Ah. Am I so homely? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'll keep him always near me. I know he'll bring me good luck. Until now. 
I've never had any good luck. Because you wouldn't accept it. If you've had bad luck, you can only blame yourself. The other day when we freed Vargas, Blackus could have finished off Yarba. It was the perfect opportunity, and all the people were with us. But you didn't want to. When will you get another chance like that? First, Yarba must confess to Aglaya. What a pretty name. Who is Aglaya? A name I repeated each time I entered the arena. A name I dearly loved. And now? Don't you still love her? Enough for bread and water. Tonight we eat the sweet tasting meat of a suckling pig. Where did you steal that animal? Well, now, that's gratitude for you. I find you a tasty morsel, and you call me a common thief. If you beggars must know, I bought it. Well, then, why didn't you also buy some wine? Because wine is closed in the cask and won't move on four legs. <laughs> <laughs> Get him one. Poor little thing, it seems to have understood. What do you mean? Poor little thing, let's not be silly. All right, Zeno, come on, hit him. Uh, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Not for me. Mm -mm. Delicate type, you can tell he's never seen the sight of blood. Blackus? <laughs> You're wrong again, Vargas. I'm not hungry. I'm dying of thirst. And you? No, not you. I never was much for pork. I can't digest it. No. No. You then. Thanks a lot. But I'm afraid it's a little bit on the skinny side. Why don't you try eating it by yourself? Garbage the only animal I'm interested in. Always breaking someone's heart at the right moment. Now get out before I eat you alive, squeals and all. I told you I didn't want these men brought here in chains. I told you they were my old friends. You know very well that we are here only because we were dragged by these chains. And you also know that we have never been your friends. Then it's time we became friends, dear Milas. You talk to me of friendship. You're not fooling anyone. Your power is tottering. Maybe you are right, noble Milas. We are not friends, but perhaps we can reach an accord and work together for the good of Sparta. For the good of Sparta, you mean to famish the populace, to overtax us, and render us completely helpless. I warn you, Milas. I am much too old now to fear a tyrant. <laughs> and the rest of you here. Do you all agree with him? Do you refuse to collaborate with me? Speak up! Your silence speaks for itself. I can only consider you as traitors. Traitors. Maybe they can decide in prison whose side they're on. Either with me or against me. Take them away! can't possibly get away. I really surround them. They are now trapped without a chance. And tonight we move in. Happy to see you satisfied. I'm useful to you, very useful. I dare say indispensable. About time you learn to distinguish between a friend and a friend should be appreciated, I assure you. And what is your price? Let's not talk of prices. We're two friends. We have shared many a secret and work together. Why not collaborate for the good of our country? 
and our own good. Why not? Milan is dead, and it's only right that I be the one to continue his work by your side. You are showing your claws. But they can be trimmed with an honor show of gratitude, Charber. You shall be satisfied, Macrobius. Now go. Get what you deserve. What is your name? Nisia. I'm the daughter of Panergus. What do you want? You seem to be looking for someone. Where's Darius? I'm afraid he's not here. Oh, but I have to find him. Will he come back soon? Darius will never come back here again. Please go away. Are you going to accuse him of another crime? No. I was blinded by my father's death, for which Darius was so unjustly accused. I'm here now only to ask his forgiveness. It's too late. Darius doesn't love you anymore. Yes, I know. If I could only see him for a moment. Because in my heart, I never stopped loving him. And when you were hating him? Yes, yes, always. You can't possibly know. You can't possibly know how much I've suffered. And I suppose Darius hasn't suffered, has he? Oh, yes, I know. Please tell me where he is, I beg of you. Go away. Don't destroy the little happiness we've known together. You haven't the right. But then you... I have every right. Because I love Darius. And we'll be married. You mean that Darius... Yes, he said that. He said we'd be married. He even carved his likeness for me. Now go away. You no longer mean anything to him. Please tell him that I... No. 
No, I won't tell him a thing. Please leave. No, wait. I don't know why I said that. It's just not true. Darius loves you, not me. you will cover the horse's hooves with cloth. Not the slightest sound must be heard. I understand. You will arrive at the Valley of Festo right after sundown. But you must attack only when you're absolutely certain that everyone is asleep. Nobody will be able to get away if you attack them when they are sleeping. And no one must escape. Now go. wanted to ask your forgiveness for having suspected you so unjustly. But I lied to her and sent her away. Why did you send her away? What did you tell her? I told her. I told well, her Well, what that... was it? No. I don't want to tell. I can't. <laughs> Come here, Alicia. It doesn't matter. I don't want to know. Don't go, Alicia. <laughs> That's a woman for you. I'm happy that Aglaia has learned the truth. Soon everyone will find out. When do you plan attacking a fortress? We'll attack them tomorrow night. After all we have seen, the plan to follow can only be this. Here we have Yarba's fortress. As you know, it's protected on all sides except one, which is the most inaccessible approach and where the mercenaries make their camp. We will divide into two groups. Vargas, Flaccus, and I will keep the mercenaries busy as long as possible. <laughs> thinking about your plan. I thought we were all agreed. What don't you like, Blackus? Oh, no, everything's fine. I think it's a very good plan. But tell me, you still want to take Yarba alive? No. 
Now that Aglaya knows who murdered her father, it doesn't matter. I never did understand why you held me back in the arena. But if I get another chance, my knife will surely find its mark. <laughs> why don't you get some sleep? Soon I'll be going to relieve Livius. What's the matter? A patrol of guards is just under the valley. They're advancing slowly and their horses aren't making a sound. Come. Where are they? There. There's a slew of them. We'll give them a hearty welcome. wanted to surprise us, but the surprise will be for them. Quick, there's no time to lose. Have you forgiven me? Forgiven you for what? I don't remember. <laughs> Bye. Where are you going? Going home. Peasants, I don't mind giving up my steaming baths, my massages, and a life made up of all sweet accord. I don't even mind giving up shaving now. But there's a limit, no? I absolutely refuse to sleep with these carcasses. I can't rest in a cemetery. No, I'm very sensitive. You won't sleep here tonight, Zeno. We won't wait till morning to attack the fortress. Before the sun rises, Yava will have paid for all his crimes. to see your Darius again. By this time, he's already dead. My guards were given but one order. To kill. To kill, to kill. It's always to kill. That's your business. You're an assassin. First Iaco, then my father. 
And now, Darius, I'm the only one left. Go ahead. Are you afraid to kill me? No. You must live for my pleasure. We're to be married. What? How could I marry the man who assassinated my father? Macrobius has lied. A dying man has no reason to lie. Don't touch me. You disgust me. I can wait. Time will make me right. And, my love, I have much more time than Darius has.
Marcus, hurry! and our fortress has been attacked. It's impossible. The people would never revolt against me. They're too afraid of me. 
What is happening down there cannot possibly be the work of only a handful of gladiators. Attack them! Muster all the men in the fortress and wipe them out! Don't just stand there, that's what I pay you for! Go! What are you doing there? Get out! You. So you are still alive. Yes, but you have little time left. Stop where you are. I wouldn't hesitate a moment. you not to move, Darius, if you still love her. I've always loved her. Let's go. There you are. Go on! Oh, my God. 